All right, let's move. The monkey's always going to get off from that end. I know it for a fact. So we're going to do time attack, then just take that note. Ha! There must be some areas in which you'll have to catch a certain amount of monkeys to move forward. In this case, three. No, not much, not much use for that since we're catching monkeys either way. There's four monkeys there. And we already need only one more monkey to go. Or could we pick up that last one, I wonder? Oh yeah, those crabs are similar to the crabs from Rayman 2. Oh, there's, a, there's an ape. Yo! Come on! Sound the switch! Sound the switch! Get on the switch! Thank you! That's right, monkey. Oh, that's just plain cheat! Uh, maybe later. Oh, nothing over there, is there? I remember where the Spectre Coin was. It's right here. I can epically land back on the platform, but it just goes down, up and down too fast. Alright, this part's kind of tricky. Gotta use that thing to shoot you, but I can never get it right. Doesn't matter. End of stage. For now, anyway. I did great. Woohoo. Not to take any chances, so I'm going to save. level. Coral Cave! Sega, you ripped off of this game when you made Sonic Rush Adventure. The Coral Cave. One Spectre Coin again. I like the music here. Let's go. So, first monkey. Going, going, gone. Next monkey. I love Super Who. Super Duper Who. Wee! Ah, Super Two, huh? That one's getting away. So I better go after it. Where you go? There you are. All right, there's a monkey over there in that in that underwater cave we can't get yet until we have the skycopter. Next monkey, not there. It's uh, over here. Speed up, please. Alright, you're mine, you. Ha! You have to go sit there and do nothing, and I'm gonna take it. Or, take you, anyway. Back to prison. Get way out of the water. Oh, uh, I think those, um, Black Frogs are back here, too.
Goodbye. Oh boy. Okay, this monkey. I remember this monkey. To switch what ammo you're gonna use. Just simply push the button the gadget is set to, of course. Well, that went much simpler than it did before, didn't it? At a stage, that might be kind of complicated. They make the monkeys a lot more special in the next two games. So for some reason, this is my favorite Ape Escape game. Maybe because of the graphics or the music. Well, it's the music, isn't it? Especially that final stage. That final stage is pretty neat. Pretty cool. Well, at least the semi-final stage, not the final stage. All the final stages is the boss. Dexter's Island. Dexter sounds close to Spectre. I know there's one Spectre coin we can't get yet, but there's two we can. Let's go! This may remind you of WW's Belly. Well, maybe not me playing JoJo's Belly, because he didn't even watch that, did you? This coin's there, pointless. They're terribly misplaced. I'll open you up for later. Well, that is if you're actually staying open. That monkey there is pretty easy to grab. All you gotta do is ambush him. Like so. Well, I didn't exactly do it right. Ha! Like that! And when you hold your net down, the monkey can just, like, walk into it and be caught. You don't have to get it just right on him like you had to do in the other two games. Well, I never really played the other two games, but I assume that's what you gotta do, because it looks like that's what Blade Lightning has to do. Alright, so you don't say it. Uh, there's a monkey over there, we, over to the left we can't get yet, because we need the RC car, which is kind of a cool weapon, or gadget or whatever you want to call it. Avoid the rolling barrels, like, from Star Fox Adventures. Rip off. Three more to go. And the, now I know this next one is a real pain in the ass. These falling towers, these towers here look like the falling towers from Mario 64. But instead of falling on you, they bounce you around, which is a whole lot more annoying. Not to mention this monkey fires missiles. I hate missile firing monkeys. Whoa, that went much better than before. Anyway, this place is really similar to Jabu Jabu's Belly. Oh, Spectre Coin, I forgot about that one. Oh, and these things look like the balls from Zelda Ocarina of Time. Only these are a whole lot more annoying to kill. In time attacks, if you die, you just, you won't lose a life, but your time will continue, like Sonic Unleashed. Something about that water there, which is weird. Goodbye. Oh, and then there's this thing. This thing looks just like the thing you had to fight in Zelda. Zabby's Belly. So this game really ripped off of Ocarina since this came after Ocarina. Oh, I thought I could spin attack it. 
Well, this thing's much harder to kill for one thing. Bad idea.